Good evening and welcome to beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona and Rose Field for the 2022 Big League Wiffball Draft. Tonight, six new prospects will be welcomed into our league. As managers begin to arrive on scene, let's take a look at the BLW Draft Combine, which took place a month prior. Players participated in both pitching and hitting drills leading up to a scrimmage featuring not only prospects, but many league managers. Here are some highlights. Managers will select from players that participated in last October's Western Wall Classic at Scottsdale Stadium. Two talented teams are expected to carry the load in terms of prospects. Rockslide and the South Mountain Maniacs. As for the draft order, the Eastern Extreme hold the number one overall selection. Manager Zach Koss claims he'll be selecting, quote, a generational talent. Now, let's send it down to newly renovated Rose Field and Commissioner Logan Rose for the first overall selection. The Eastern Extreme are now on the clock. Welcome to the 2022 Big League Wiffleball Draft. Today, we'll elect six new people into our league. With the first pick in the 2022 Big League Wiffleball Draft, the Eastern Extreme select Brody Livingston, Rock Slide. Brody Livingston goes number one to the Eastern Extreme. I think Brody, I played against him multiple times. He's a great player. He can pitch really well. He can hit really well. I think that as long as he can keep his pitches under control, he's going to be one of the better players in this league moving forward. Uh -huh. I think he's probably my front runner for a rookie of the year. And yeah, the Extreme made a great pick with him. You've got to have people to play. Yeah, exactly. So that's the Extreme's problem. You know, they didn't have people to play. So I think this is a great roster ad i think this is a great number one overall pick he has great hitting great pitching you know i think he, he can be a little overrated but that's just if he tries to throw too hard because his pitches can be all over the place but if he sticks to keeping them controlled i think he's the front runner for rookie right. of the year With the second pick in the 2022 Big League Wiffleball Draft, the Desert Diamond select Seth Denmark, Rock Slide. Seth Denmark, you know, I think this is a great pick for the Diamonds. They have no depth besides Dylan, which he never plays. Uh, I think out of the few times I saw him here, he was his pitches were on. His, Hitting was pretty good, so I think this is a great uh, ad for the Diamonds, and I think this will be good for them in the future. I agree with Luke on that one. I think Seth, he's a real wild card. By the looks of it, he looked pretty good. He could be great. I, I think he could. I think he can. Um, but the question for me is, he didn't look very happy to be drafted by the Diamonds. He Absolutely. didn't. He didn't see like the managers there. I don't think he seems very supported by his team, and I don't know if he wants to stay with them at the end of the day. It's With the third pick in the 2022 Big League Wiffleball Draft, the Arctic Altitude Select, Evan Lenn, Rockside. Evan Land goes number three to the altitude, and I think this is a pretty good pick. Evan, uh, I've played against him a couple times. I'm pretty sure he's a decent pitcher. Uh, I know he can hit really well, but he does chase a lot of sliders, so... He's got to work on that, but I think it's a great pick by the altitude. Yeah, I think this is uh, an interesting pick for the altitude. I think they have a pretty good roster. You know, everyone's going to get better. 
Joey's pitching faster than I've ever seen. You know, in the tournaments, he was pitching well. But back to Evan, I think he's a solid pick. He's a lefty. Their team's full of lefties. Uh, I think it's a good pick. He's a, As Carson said, he's a chaser. So we'll see how that goes out through the year. With the fourth pick in the 2022 Big League Wiffle Ball Draft, the Pacific Panthers select Soren Etheridge, South Mountain Maniacs. Soren Etheridge, with, you know, he fell to the Panthers. You know, a great friend of Carson's. He has baseball experience, I've heard. You know, he was in our past tournaments. Uh, I've seen him hit before. He, he was pretty good. I think this would be a great uh, add to the Panthers roster, you know. I agree with Luke, kind of. Uh, Soren, he's a great baseball player. Hopefully that can translate into wiffle ball. He can pitch really well. He can hit really well. He throws pretty hard. Uh, my player comparison for Soren could be max potential around where Joey is right now. Joey throws hard. He can hit really well. I think Soren can easily get to that. With the fifth pick in the 2022 Big League Wiffle Ball Draft, the Western Wolves select... Bryson Livingston, rock slide. At the number five pick, uh, the Wolves took Bryson Livingston, which I believe is the biggest steal of the draft. Mm -hmm. The Wolves were already uh, in the World Series last year, and with Bryson, I think they could go back to the World Series and win it. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, with uh, Bryson going to the Wolves, I think, you know, this is a big upgrade in the roster, you know, from Dylan, you know. Uh, no offense, Dylan, but I think, you know, with Bryson having football and baseball experience, I think from past tournaments I've seen him hit, and he can pitch pretty well too, so I think this is a big upgrade. It's the six? Yeah. Yes. So, so if you win, six, we only have six teams in the in the league, right? Yeah. Yes. So if I win, if so I you win have to win the championship to trade the pick. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that trade. Okay. But Thank you. I That's win. all I need to know. The Coastal Cougars have traded the rice to the sixth pick to the Eastern Extreme. With the sixth pick in the 2022 Big League Wiffle Ball Draft. The Eastern Extreme select Reed Umar, South Mountain Mania. Reed Umar is a roster filler. He's going to a poverty franchise. Might be able to turn them around. He's going to play a few games here and there if the Extreme need him. But I think this is, you know, a great move for the Cougars and the Extreme. So we'll see how the season plays out. Yeah, I kind of agree with that one. I mean, um, Reed, I don't think he's had much baseball experience or wiffle ball. He's, I, I know he played in our tournament. But I think this might be just more of a move by the extreme for a roster spiller. For sure. Since they have Sam that goes away. That concludes the 2022 draft. Thanks for everyone who tuned in and watched, and we'll see you next time.